Hi and welcome to this new Render People tutorial. In this video I'd like to show you how to import our brand new 4D People models into your 3ds Max projects. Our new 4D People have been created with state-of-the-art volumetric capture technology. They are, so to speak, moving 3D scans. This allows us to capture every detail of our model. All you need to follow this tutorial is a 3ds Max scene of your choice and our free 4D People model Alia. Visit renderpeople.com slash free 3D people and download our freebie. Select the 3ds Max version and you are ready to go. Once you have downloaded the model, open up the zip archive. Our 4D people models for 3ds Max include several Max project files for Corona Renderer, the Native Renderer, Octane Render and V-Ray. You will also find two different versions of each Max file. One 2K performance version if you want to use a few 4D people models at once in your scene and one for close-ups. Next to the project files, you will also find a 4D people alembic file. This alembic file contains the geometry stream. In addition to those geometry files, you'll also find two separate texture folders, including all needed textures. Next, open up your project folder. Now, select the 4D people 3ds Max file, the alembic file and the whole text folder and copy all those files into your project folder. It is very important to copy all needed files because 3ds Max will look for those specific file names when merging the model into the scene. For this tutorial, we'll use the V-Ray version of the model. However, the import process is identical for all other renderers. Once everything is copied into the project folder, open up your 3ds Max project. For this tutorial, we'll use this little park scene and place our free model right in the center of this walkway. Now we need to check if our scene is set to the correct frame rate. Open up the time configuration window and set the frame rate to 30 fps if needed. All of our 4D people models have been captured volumetrically at exact 30 fps. This can cause rendering issues if the scene's frame rate does not match. Perfect, now that everything is set and ready, we can open up the merge window. Go to the files menu, import and click on merge. Now. Search for your project folder and select the 4D People 3ds Max file and click on Open. In the Merge window, select the 4D People object and click on OK. The model is now merged into the center of your scene. Just move and rotate your model in your scene until you're happy with the overall result. As you can see, the geometry and texture stream will load automatically and the model is now ready to go. If you want to check if the model works properly, you can now select the 4D People Alembic object. In the Alembic object, you can see that the model has been found successfully and everything is loaded as it should. You can also check the imported 4D People material in the Material Editor. When working with the 4D People materials, keep in mind that our 4D People use an IFL texture stream instead of a static texture. Feel free to adjust the materials until you are happy with the overall result. If you want to import more models, simply repeat this process with another model, but keep in mind that you need to copy all needed files before merging the model into your scene. For this showcase we will select a slightly different camera angle, adjust the model and yes, we can start rendering. Get creative and have fun using our freebie in your projects and let us know if you like our 4D people models. We cannot wait to see your results. If you like this tutorial, leave a like or comment under this video and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching our small tutorial on how to import 4D people models into your 3ds Max projects. See you in the next one!